Hi, Riley from Klaus here. In this video, we will explore Klaus's feature called Conversation Insights. This visual filter can help you uncover any blind spots that you may have with your review efforts, as well as help you focus on the right support agents. Let's start with understanding how the feature works before we take a look at a few use cases at the end of this video. Let's jump right in. You can locate the feature from your main conversation view by clicking on the filter button at the top of the page. The page is organized into three main areas. Up top, we have four predefined date ranges that can be selected. Below this, we have two interconnected insights charts, one focusing on your conversations attributes and the other focusing on your support agents attributes. Finally, on the right hand side, we have the filtered conversation list. So what is this all about? Starting from the inside and making our way out, each ring on the charts represents the different attributes listed below. For example, when looking at the first attribute, called connection, we can see that we have two values, air call and intercom. When we interact with the insights charts, we can see exactly how our conversations were distributed between the two connections. With 68% of our conversations being handled on intercom, compared with 32% that were handled on air call. You can see further breakdowns of your conversation data by hovering over each ring in your chart. What makes the chart so useful is the ability to click into any segmented slice of the chart to zoom in on those specific conversations. As both of the charts are interconnected, any selections you make on one chart will update the other, as well as update your conversation list. You can zoom into any combination of attributes from both the conversation and agent chart, leaving you with a perfectly filtered conversation list ready to review. Let's look at how the charts behave in a bit more detail. First, we will reset our charts. To do so, simply click the middle section of each chart to undo the previously zoomed in layer. Next, I will select our date range. We will take a look at conversations from the last month. Our two insights charts are telling us that we handled 321 conversations during that period and that eight support reps were involved in answering them. You are able to customize your charts to include only the data you want to see. You can remove certain attributes by unchecking them. For example, if you only have one help desk connection, then this would be an unnecessary layer to use. You can also rearrange the attributes. This alters the order of the rings and allows you to change your perspective and zoom into your data, focusing on the attributes that are more important to you. For example, if you're looking for English conversations to review, you could move the review status and language attributes to the top of the list and click into the non-reviewed and English sections. We are now left with a list of 98 non-reviewed English conversations. Notice how the agent chart also adjusted with the selection, and we can see that four out of our original eight agents were involved in answering these conversations. You can also choose to interact with the charts by deselecting the specific values for each attribute. For example, if we deselect the reviewed and non-English attributes, we are left with the same 98 conversations and four agents as we were by clicking into the segments on the chart itself. The agent chart comes with a built-in statistical model that segments your agents into their respective performance groups for volume, CSAT, and sentiment. This helps target your review efforts on specific groups of agents who may be underperforming or overperforming compared to the rest of the team. For example, when looking at the volume attribute, we see five values, highest, high, medium, low, and one ticket only. Using the built-in statistical model, Klaus segments your agents into the correct performance group based on your own data. We can see out of our eight agents who handled conversations last month, one was identified as doing the most volume, followed by one agent who did the next highest, and so on down to the agents who only did one ticket each. Klaus not only groups your agents into comparable segments for volume, but also for CSAT and sentiment. This will help you identify agents who have lower CSAT scores, lower volumes, and more negative sentiment compared to those on the rest of the team.
There are also a bunch of Klaus's AI features built into your Insights charts. These are the sentiment, complexity, and language attributes. With the Klaus sentiment layer, you can segment your charts to show conversations where the customer sentiment is judged to have been either positive or negative. And with the complexity layer, each and every conversation gets compared to a statistical model that finds and marks the more complex conversations. These are conversations that took more effort for the agent to resolve, that had more messages sent back and forth, and were longer in content compared to what is typical. The sentiment and complexity features are two very good tools to help find the most relevant cases to review. Klaus also uses AI to detect language in your conversations. If you support multiple languages, you will see the breakdown of them and be able to select conversations in a specific language for reviewing. Let's take a look at a couple of use cases now and put our Insights feature to work. Traditionally, CSAT is used to find out what is upsetting your customers. However, not all customers leave CSAT, and those that do often only tell half of the story. With Klaus's sentiment detection, every conversation gets analyzed and negative and positive sentiment is detected. By moving the review status and sentiment attributes to the top, and clicking the non-reviewed and low segments, I am now left with an unreviewed list of conversations where negative sentiment was detected. I can either open up the conversation list and get digging in, or I can then combine this with any other attribution layers that I like to further zoom in on the conversations that matter. As Klaus automatically groups your agents into comparable CSAT segments, you can use this attribute to find and review the agents who have had lower CSAT scores compared to those on the rest of the team. In our case, no one from our support team received bad CSAT scores in the last month, so we do not have a low CSAT segment visible. However, this is typically a great place to come and find who is struggling with their CSAT and get reviewing the relevant conversations right away. We all know and love that support rep on the team who constantly handles more tickets than anyone else. We love them even more if their IQS can match their heroic volume efforts. It's important to keep an eye on your volume champions, not just to ensure that quality is being maintained, but it's also a great way to learn from these agents and better understand how they handle so many. Using the conversation chart, we can bring the complexity attribute to the top and click on the complex segment. On the agent chart, we can select the agent classed as doing the highest volume. You are now left with that agent's most complex cases to review. If you ever get the feeling you may be leaving someone behind in your review efforts, then you'll be happy to see how easy it is to find and review them. Using the agent chart, we can move the review status attribute to the top and select agents who have not received reviews. In our case, we had three agents participate in 22 conversations. I can now review these agents easily and ensure that no one is being left behind in our review efforts. That's just a few examples of how you can utilize the Insights feature. Let us know what you think in the Quality Tribe and check out our channel for more Klaus videos.